It was a day of celebration as family and friends came out to celebrate the retirement of former Deputy Borough President Aurelia Green. Mrs. Green has served the community for over 30 years, a calling that she says stems from her grandmother, who was her mentor. I come from a family where my grandmother always reached out to help those who were unfortunate, who didn't know what to do or how to help themselves. So she was my mentor. And when I went to the legislature, I thought I was only going to fill my predecessor's term and I was not going to stay there. I had no plans to stay. And it was all very alien to me. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what to do. But God made a way. Green has not only made a huge impact in the community, but to her family as well. Her daughter and granddaughter, who run their own successful events company, planned a day that they knew would be fitting for the woman they call their hero. Everywhere I go, people tell me how she's impacted their lives, how she's helped them, how she's, she's provided so many opportunities for so many people. And it was a sacrifice at times to share your mom with the state and then the whole borough. But I, I would not change anything because the, the legacy that she leaves behind for her children and her grandchildren and not even her great grandchildren is totally awesome. And we're really, really proud of all the work that she's done. And she's not stopping. She's balanced her job and her family and her church and her loved ones just as equally. So to see that as an example, as someone who's still powerful but doesn't forget what matters at the end of the day, it's like that's, it's an inspiration. She's a queen to me for sure. I ended up becoming her intern in 2008, then ended up working in her district office for a year, and now I'm the assemblywoman following in her, her footsteps. So it's a, you know, an amazing journey and everything comes full circle. I would not be here, I would not be the public advocate of the city of New York, but for really a green. I am because she is. I stand on her shoulders. She opened up doors. And that's why I wanted to come by and say thank you. Thank you for all that she has done for me and for countless number of women in public life and beyond. And, and oftentimes it really wasn't a word that she said. It was really a touch, a smile, and just a warm spirit. And so I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of not only the members of the Bronx, but on behalf of the entire city and even the state of New York. Thank you for being a role model and a mentor for me and for others. I love you, Aurelia Green. For all of her hard work and dedication, Aurelia Green was honored with the key to the borough at this year's Bronx Ball, something she said she never expected to get. And I was just so shocked when I, I saw that I've got the key to the borough. That's the highest honor. What did I do? You know, you right away, you figure, what did you do? But I thank God. I thank God. Oh, <laughs> I am so happy. I am so happy. And the Bronx is so happy and blessed to have had Aurelia Green. For Bronxnet, I'm Veronica Guiti.